Hey, it's Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart. We got two signatory Buna Havens. Two. Two. We're gonna test it. Dose style. <laughs> Finger almost went in my mouth. <laughs> Surprise style. <laughs> What the heck? All right, first one, we'll leave this one. Okay. I'll look at this one first, just because this one, this is an eight year old Boone Hoffman. This is brand new signatory releases. Yeah, so we're looking at a 46% release and then a cast strength release one here. Like it. We did this in the store, Matt and I, and it was really uh, interesting side by side, the differences. I like how you backed off there, you were like interesting. Yeah. So that yep. way you're not giving anything. That's right. Uh, signatory, unchill, filtered collection, signatory, vintage, single malt whiskey, natural color, Buna Haven, uh, Stoisha, 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 Hev which means heavily peated. Oh, Ooh. for Buna I can smell it. Which uh, usually Moigne, M-O-I-N-E, they'll put on their peated editions. They must use the Stoisha for their heavily peated. Wow, I yeah. get, uh, spilled a little bit on my fingers and I get uh, peanut. So this one is eight years old, whereas the cast strength one is seven. Ooh. But both of them are um, Rechar Hogshead, I believe. They're not no sherry influence. Yep. Uh, Rechard Hogsheads on both of these, but the cast strength one's seven years. This one's eight years. And I can, ooh, I can smell it. I got oh, a yeah. nice, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's got this. Um, Ooh, it's mm, almost well, got this smoldering, like there's a, uh, um, a, a the day after a barn caught fire. But I got a nice, very nice, sit like a burning citrus tree, like a or burning orange tree. Wow, burning orange almost tree. tree. I can nice, see that. yeah, nice citrus underlay so I was there. Picking up like it, like I was eating a grapefruit while smelling the old burnt barn. grapefruit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a grapefruit tree instead of an orange oh. one. It's really kind of a tangy fruit, yeah. fruitiness there with it. Lighter, though, not sherry, anything like that. Right. Huh. And, I mean, nice color here as well for eight years. Not very much cask influence. I think we're going to get a good look at our uh, Buna that oven. is interesting. Distillate. I would stick with exactly my first deal was it's a uh, the day after the barn burnt, and I'm eating grapefruit while I look at it. <laughs> Mm. I got the little perforated spoon so you can dig out the little squares in the grapefruit. Hmm. So, only thing I up front, it's good, delicious. It doesn't feel heavily peated. It feels <laughs> peated. Nice, but it's kind of an earthy, nice earthy peat though, but there's citrus, a little bit of powdered sugar, some nice... Powdered oh. sugar was where I was going to say something. Mm -hmm. Um, a little floral though, too, almost like a grass field has yes. caught or a flower field has caught on fire yep. as well. And I'm eating one of them white powder donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Those are so good. I know. That's it. It's the powdered donut. And you're right. It's a floral burnt flavor, but I'm with you. This doesn't feel okay. So this isn't that dirt clawed in the face. This isn't that deep, rich, um, Isla that I'm used to. Um, obviously still there, but, um, nuanced, nuanced here for sure. This isn't some kind of, uh, peat overkill at all. Uh, -uh. no, doesn't feel it. Could be the 46%, but, mm -hmm. and blind, I might think this was a Kalila. There's a nice nuttiness in here though, too, okay. almost like, like, like a, like, like a that. roasted peanut. Yeah. You know, all these other notes, the citruses, vanillas. I get a little bit of a cherry cough syrup on the back end. A little bit of cherry cough syrup. But yeah, this, I would have picked up some wood ash peat, but maybe it'll open up and change. I would, it does not feel heavily peated to me. Ooh. We'll see, because this one is the heavily, this one's a Stoisha as well. Okay. Pretty much the same, but an eight-year-old at 46% and a seven-year-old at cast strength. So, hmm. ooh, I like it. I mean, it's very, yeah, it just doesn't feel, it's peated. It feels like a peated Bunahaven. Citrusy, sweet, malty, peaty. Feels different. Peanutty. I would have never been able to peg down Bunahaven. Yeah, I might not have either. Yeah. Uh -oh. 
no. So, hmm. Now what I don't know, hmm. It's got like a uh, dry tanginess to it. And then it slides into that nutty flavor. I never get an earth feel. I don't get a sea salt. Sometimes with Pete, I'll describe what it isn't. Hmm. Yeah, good point. Okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. yeah. It's different. It's true. It's very it, different. It, I mean, Ooh, though, it does. Nice presentation. Oh, yeah. I love the bottles on this. Yeah. Wow. The, the topper. Look at that. Mm hmm. 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 You poor actually said I was going to do the. What? I was going to use these glasses for the cast oh. drink, but as long as we got them separated, yeah, that's good. I thought we would keep them different. Oh. That way we could tell. But. So this one, go, moving on to this is the uh, Signatory Vintage Collection. Again, Bunahaven. Uh, 2014 on this one, Steoisha, heavily peated, seven years, 58.8% ABV, bottle 47 of 269. Our cask number on this one, 10767, matured in a D-char, rechar hogshead, which is a actually D -char, a D-char, rechar. D-char, rechar. Colors is darker. Is what they say on this one as well. Colors darker with this. I think that's just going to be, the, you know, the cast strength coming in. Hasn't been watered down. 58.8% right. ABV. Hmm. Let me take a little swig of water here. Okay. I want to go in. Ooh, holy moly. What was that? It was like, um, like, uh. Ooh. Cleaning out the ashes in an old wood-burning stove while sucking on a sweet tart. <laughs> feel like I'm giving SMWS names there. Sucking on a sweet tart. Sucking on a sweet tart, cleaning out the wood-burning stove. Multipedia is a little bit different. There's like a twang in there. Might be that what you get with a sweet, sweet tart. tart. Yeah. With the peat. Huh, and almost is, almost is, feels like instead of a citrus sweetness here, it almost feels like a little darker sweetness. And I get a little vanilla. Huh. But there's still another. There's some Elmer's glue. Okay. Maybe that's, I was, I was about to say there's another it's twang like a, in there. I, I was getting. picking up a paste. It's almost paste? like that old oh, no, the uh, paste with the brush. The yeah. car putty. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little bit right. of that. Yeah, the pink. What was it body called? Body putty. It's body putty. Just body putty. Yeah. There's a little bit of that. Peanutty again. A little nutty, nutty smoke. Very huh. nice. Yeah. Mm. A lot, lot going on with this one besides just peat. Mm -hmm. So let's find out mm -hmm. on the palate. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. That'll grab you right away <laughs> on the pork. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, a smoky, sooty finish. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Mmm, <laughs> that is Pete. <laughs> I, I get, I, oh, mm. That is nice and it's strong. What is it again? 58.8. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, wow. You just can't beat cash strength. Man, does that That's, get your attention. So I had picked this one. We, I was buying this one just because it was the, the vintage collection. It was cast strength. And they had this one, you know, me and Matt had opened this one and we tried it. And I was like, oh, let's get that other one as well. Throw it. Let's just try them side by side. This one stands out. Oh, yeah. The, the vintage, the cast strength. It's a year younger, but that cast strength 58.8. This one really hurt by that 46%. Still good overall. But, yeah, I mean, it's ten, tenfold, I would say, the difference. This sweet tart wood burning ash stove is exactly the nose I still get. I like the soot, just like a chimney soot, yeah. almost um, almost like a diesel soot though too, almost industrial. Mm -hmm. Or uh, with SMWS, I've seen more with kind of some Highland peats or some Campbelltown peats, more of an industrial smoke. It's almost this is almost a little industrial coal soot smoke as well. You're right, man. <clears throat> I went in a little lighter on that flavor profile up front. It gives me these little spice indications, and I don't know if I can pick it out, but um, it's like a Turkish bazaar is the spices. I'm just getting overwhelmed by all these spice flavors. Then it slides away and goes into the sooty, ashy, 
almost not quite damp earth, it's, but it's like a dry, ashy dirt. It's oh. like a, that campfire on the beach and it had rained the next day. Yeah. Rain yeah. had come in. It was humid. It's humid now. So you're getting that humid, salty sea air Water. and that campfire. Yeah, throw it on there. That salt, that uh, smoke, that campfire that's been put yeah. out. Hmm. More citrusy on the 46 percenter. Still, I don't get a lot of citrus notes on this cast strength one. It's caramelly, caramelly, caramel. I like that. Caramel. Brown sugars, darker. Ooh. Man, I think I need even more water. Water did nothing to it. it didn't change it a bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go heavy just for the taste experience. Man. Big old drop of water. In One it. drop of water just starting to expand it. I think it's actually helping it now. It almost made it breathe fire. <sighs> like I feel like there's this flame coming out, as but it's weird. It's not like it's like that. It's like the the after breath of a dragon. <laughs> I feel like there's like ah, we're too close. Hmm. Man. I like it. I really I like it. it a lot. <laughs> I really like it a lot. Mm. Yeah. Um, one drop of water, I think, is really expanding the palate on this one. It's starting to let it open up, starting to spread the Ooh, wings. Man. It's a peacock getting ready to fly. Ooh, there you go. I went with a super heavy drop. Yeah, I like I that. Did. The only thing it probably added to it, it feels like it is. It's like it's this. It's like this after sulfur from a dragon's breath, but then I get a little bit of vanilla in there now, too. Mm. Boy, does that take the water well. I liked it with one drop of water. It's better than two drops. Of course, that was a pretty healthy drop. I, I just put it in. Hefty, hefty, hefty drop. I liked it. I like it better just well. one drop. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like bringing in the old commercials. Yeah. Some people, some of our viewers yeah. like that. Like, yeah, they do. They're like, it, it recalls back. I just remember that. Wow. Wasn't Still, an old lady was like, who is a kid with the wimpy, 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 and the trash is all over the know. kitchen. Yeah, they get canceled now. They'd be like, oh my God. Oh my God, you can't show trash in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Showed a kid as being wimpy. Yeah, the kid has to do chores. <laughs> <laughs> What world are we living in? What, yeah, is this, what the 80s? heck? Why isn't he allowed to just experience life via his video console? <laughs> All right, let's score it. Mm. This one first. Let me go back to it real quick. I will do the same because mine's a little lackluster and I think it is suffering in comparison to. Mm -hmm. But it didn't feel like it distinguished itself. Hmm. Mm. 86. Mm. It's got some interesting flavors. That's there. right where I was. Perfect. I do wish the ABV was up. Yeah. I think, I think it would uh, play better with others. Yeah. I think that's what's hurting this one's a 46. Still good overall, 86. Uh, better than average. Yes. Good citrusy, PD. Yes. Let's move on. Different. Okay. And then, Boom. wow. Yeah. So this is not. Again, the, this is not the tobaccos or the tobacco leaf, which some people like, but this is quite a bold, powerful peat. I'm going to weigh it in at a 91. Hmm. It's doing some different things, and it's causing these pictures, like the dragon's afterbreath thing. I don't, I don't even know. I'm going 92 on that one. Woo! Yeah. It's good. It's good. Now, it's good. Price on I don't I, so I don't remember this one. Okay, but it's gonna so it's gonna be less than this one of considerably. Course, yeah, should be. Give me what do you where do you think this one's at? Uh, one fifteen. Hmm. Eighty bucks. Woo! Shut up. <laughs> yeah, shut I was even up. surprised by that. eighty bucks at cast strength. Yeah, this flavor profile coming out. Well, I mean, it's a seven year old. That's true. The peak keeps a little bit cheap. younger. Young. Yeah. This is why I like young peak. Mm -hmm. Young Pete keeps the price down. Yeah. You don't have to have it in there for 25 years to get flavor notes. Matter of fact, sometimes it pops at a younger age. Mm -hmm. That's a good yeah. point. What so, was it again? 80. This one being, now this one, I don't even remember. I, I looked for the receipt. You think this 50. 40 to 50 okay. probably on this yeah. one, I would imagine. Got Still it. worth that. Right. It'll probably sit around for a while, though, because it's unless, distinguishing. Unless you try them side by side and, and you're, you're like, like damn. damn. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Damn. Yeah. I can't go back. Although it's not bad. <laughs> no, huh? No, when it's I pop good. back. 
Yep. Mm. The difference here, obvious on these two, from the eight year 46% to the seven year cast strength. And I'm gonna go out on a limb. Nobody knew to Pete would like either one of these. I think it would hurt. I don't yeah, think they would like it. Right I think so. At 46% and there was a nice citrus think, sweetness in there. I, with it. I don't I think they'd go, Ew. Yeah. I mean, I love but, the Pete. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. All right. I know. I'm crazy, though, because I like introducing them to the art bag with yeah. the tobacco leaf is where I like it at my... Most. Vegetal, vegetals, peat. That's right a good here. point. Vegetal yeah, smoke. it's different. It is a it's different. It is a burning. different peat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when we talk about Kicking the sulfur in. after after blast from a dragon, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Kind of nice. That's something. All, right. All right, scotch it, you scotch gods, slaunch it, dummies, dummies. Mm -hmm.